Hey guys and welcome back to Son of Dad's TF2 Top Frag Movies of the Year of 2012. Yet it is 2013 and I have not finished this project yet. And um, no excuses. Um, I was just lazy. <laughs> um, I could say I was busy with med school or I was, you know, busy with other things. But no, I've just been lazy. These videos take effort and I haven't been motivated to finish it but come on two more months and I'm done so I'm starting it starting it again and hopefully December is going to be right around the corner hopefully as well so let us start off with this top five with another top five yes that's right we have Epsilon Esports tier 2 top five players of October um, by Freezer now, um, yeah, it would be it's pretty interesting to have a top five included in my top five. And, um, yeah, get used to it because, um, <laughs> nah, like I said, um, a, lot of the a lot of the main frag movie editors have kind of gone into hibernation after the Bones the movie production uh, competition. So, uh, you know. It's, I guess, uh, it's worthwhile for me to highlight, um, you know, this, it's, it's a high quality um, top five, um, you know, we we already know that um, X Television um, has their top ten of the month, but um, it's interesting here that we have, um, you know, Epsilon, just their team having their own top five um, per month, and um, yeah, it's uh, very nicely done. Um, by Freezer, you know, good quality, you know, frags by the Premier Division team, um, commentated by Arx and Peter, I believe it was. Um, so yeah, good duo uh, commentary there, and um, yeah, it's just very nice top five, and I hope this continues on um, for a little while. So just uh, keep your eyes out on these ones, because uh, it's good quality frags from uh, good players. And uh, that ra starts up our month, and then we move on to BAM! That's right, we have <laughs> another top 5, <laughs> and this one is uh, IKSD top 5 plays, number 2 by Sin, commentated by Pledge. Now, um, yeah, so once again, same idea as I said from uh, the previous video. Um, top fives, it's interesting, to, uh, it's good to highlight this one. Um, Sin, everyone knows Sin, and um, yeah, with these top fives, uh, there's a lot more variability in um, plays because you know anyone can submit their demos. So um, hopefully these can come out a bit more quick fire. Um, than the X Television ones, um, but once again, this is just another um, high quality countdown of frags, hopefully per month. And um, yeah, Sin does well um, with the editing and you know all the colors. He knows what he does, um, and Pledge uh, does a really really good job in commentating. Um, yeah, I think just he's got a bit more energy in his voice compared to Arx and Beta from the previous video. Um, so yeah, quality of frags or v variety of frags and commentary uh, is what makes this video just a bit better than the previous. Now, number three. That's right. Now we have some frag videos. I would have been trolling if I said another top five. But um, no, this is um, Scout Sprees, a TF2 frag movie by Snowblind, a Division 1 scout player from uh, Oz Fortress in Australia. Um, really good player. And um, yeah, he, he's made a lot of videos before. Um, so he knows his way around recording and all that. But um, yeah, this is some uh, one of the few videos he's made in which you know it's full on graphics and uh, you know, full length, high quality, um, color correction, you know, nice music. So, um, yeah, with this movie, great scout frags. You know, just really, really high quality scout frags. Cost time up there. Um, it's all fixed now with the new updated Luina tool by Epps in Nice Fortress. Um, and hopefully the, um, the person in charge of Luina can use that as well. Um, but yeah, this movie, um, yeah got that kind of uh, music that everyone loves with TF2 Scout movies um, and yeah just great um, frags from uh, Division 1 
and um, it's really good for me because I recognise all these players and um, it's just nice to see um, Australian players and Australian frag movies. Um, so a very nice movie by Snowblind. Moving on to number two, it is Seriously Bro? There's a question mark? A TF2 team movie um, by um, The Alpha. So yeah, this movie, um, yeah, really, really enjoyable movie. Um, came out of, uh, I would not say came out of nowhere. I mean, I've seen Alpha make a few movies before, <coughs> but I think this one was the first really major uh, movie that he had made. You know, with a, you know, a big, a big team. Um, you know, bro, like one of the best teams in America. Um, and yeah, so um, he does really well with the variety of frags. Right now, just like great syncing with the music. Um, the type of music I think is also really good. Um, you know, <laughs> the colors that um, you see in these videos like are really familiar, and they are um, apparently borrowed from IQ. And um, I think these colors suit this kind of uh, uplifting music. So um, I think this is a very nice movie, um, you know, in the line of, or like, kind of approaching the quality of, um, you know, the top-notch uh, editors like IQ and, and, and all that in Europe. So um, very impressive work by um, the Alpha. Um, great frags by um, some of the best players in uh, America. And so, you know, make sure you check it out. There's a lot of uh, footage in this. It's six minutes. Uh, which is just about right. Uh, probably not. Probably around the right amount of uh, time for a team frag movie. Um, so very nicely done by the Alpha coming at number two. Now we have number one, and that is Nor, the Polish machine, uh, number two this time. And um, yeah, I think um, actually. I'd well, who's this done by? Movie by, made by Delhi. Huh. <laughs> I didn't know that <laughs> until just now. Um, but yeah, this is a, a very nice movie. Once again, another scout movie. Nor, um, he's already had a movie uh, made by him. Uh, not made by him. Made for him. Nor the Polish Machine number one, which was released last year, I believe. Um, and yeah, Nor, just a, a fantastic scout from... Um, not Norway. That'd be too convenient. Uh, he's from Europe. <laughs> That's what I know. Possibly Sweden. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this movie um, by Delhi, he's now well equipped um, with uh, a lot of experience behind his back in 2012. So um, he finishes off the year, well, November, um, with this movie uh, by a really, really good scout. In, um, and you can see from this editing style that he's kind of incorporated um, a lot of a bit of claw, a bit of naff, a bit of, um, you know, colours from possibly RK Pure, kind of the fuzziness. So, um, you know, kind of has all these kind of elements wrapped around together. I mean, just very nicely done. Um, you know, in regards to the colour, um, I remember I complained in the first uh, Nor movie that um, it was kind of a bit too, um, you know, kind of sepia kind of colored a bit dirty and washed out um, but apparently this was um, Noor's request in the first movie and so watching the second movie um, I can understand why the colors are, are like this and um, yeah he, he does it well um, you know you can see everything in the movie so um, like I said with color correction um, I think I'm reiterating what Torden said ages ago but um, so long as your color correction doesn't make the whites too white and the blacks too black then yeah, you know, you're all good. <laughs> Not the whites too white. The lights too white and the dark areas too black. So, um, yeah, there we go. That's the final movie, Nor the Polish Machine, number two by Delhi, and that wraps up November. And um, yeah, hopefully December comes out soon. Thanks to everyone who watches this video after. I think a month of not doing anything more than a month actually um, thanks for sticking by and uh, I'm doing this for you guys so see you guys next time